Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to uh, look an example of C3P0 connection pulling. Here I will show you how to create and configure a connection pulling using C3P0 data source. As we know that creating and establishing a database connections are relatively very expensive because of establishing a network connection initializing database session authorization in the backend database etc due to these issues it is good practice to use connection pool in your application in order to increase the performance and scalability by using connection pool you can reuse already existing connections and prepared statements so that you can avoid the cost of uh, establishing the connection and here i'm going to show you how to uh, create connection pool how to, how to implement jdbc connection pool using c3p0 data source so here if you have seen my previous video tutorial there i have taught you how to implement uh, connection pool using apache dbcp so same example i'm going to copy and I'm going to make another copy of uh, I'm going to create another project with different name. I would say C3 P0 data source connection pool demo. And let me close the previous project. And here is the new project, which is just the replica of our previous project. Here in leave sequence, first of all, if you want to implement uh, JDBC connection pool using C3P0 then you required first of all dependent jars in your class path but these are the jar, jar, jars basically related to the common DBCP right the uh, Apache DBCP so these are the jars I'm going to remove MySQL connector is still needed so just let's remove these jars so I have deleted now you need to download uh, C3P0 binaries from this website and here you can see download this link is there so once you click over here then download will start so I have just downloaded this uh, distribution zip and I have extracted and if you go inside then you have a lib directory inside the lib you have a uh, three jars so we required two jars first and third jar and second jar is basically when you want to implement connection pool using oracle database then you require this chart but here we are going to uh, connect with my mysql so only these two jars we needed and mysql jars already i have kept in the lib so let's copy these jars as well now right click on the project and go to the build path now select configure build path and select this tab libraries and here previous jar this jar is not needed at all so remove these jars uh, only mysql connector is in class path so let's add remaining two jars which just we have copied in the leave directory so go to the leave directory and let's copy this let's add these two jars in class path as well apply and okay so now uh, these two jars is as a added as a referenced library so all three jars is in class path now now there is some error is coming so so here there is two package uh, first is the client package they are just uh, I am calling uh, database DB util get uh, data source method and just this returns us the data source object look at here data source object and uh, once we get the data source then just we are calling the get connection method and we are getting the connection from connection just I am creating a statement and uh, uh, I, I just uh, I have prepared a SQL query select a star from employee table just I want to select all records from the employee table now I have passed this SQL query to the execute query and this returns me the result set and just I am iterating the result set I try to just display the all records which is coming from the database so it's pretty straightforward now here my main agenda is to implement a connection pool using uh, C3P0 so this code is throwing an error because this code uh, we have written uh, in the previous project for apache dbcp right connection pooling 
and Apache DVCP related jars we have removed from the class bar. So that's the reason. So let's start. So instead of basic data source, uh, then you talk about the C3 P0, then we have uh, something which called combo combo pulled sorry combo pulled data source class will have to use and let's say name the same as data source itself now let's comment these are the code scenarios i'm going to comment now uh, we need to create object of combo pulled data source so uh, this class is having a default constructor so let's create an object of it so i have created now some of the fields are mandatory to set like set driver class and here set driver class driver name just we are retrieving from the uh, property file so just i'm going to write like this now again data source dot set uh, you have a jdbc url so that is nothing but database url so that also i'm going to set now data source you need to set data's username and database username we have to retrieve from the property file and we need to set we need to set in this method now finally we have a uh, password right so just call set password and this password again we have to retrieve from the property file and we need to set it over here okay so setting these three properties mandatory this is optional if you do not uh, set uh, jdbc driver explicitly but you have added mysql jars in the class path then driver will be loaded automatically from java 6 onwards but if you are using jdk previous version uh, then like java 5 or 4 then this is not gonna work so this line you can even remove and this is gonna work now so these are the property will have to uh, set these are the property is mandatory to set but there are some optional property if you do not set those property then uh, c3p0 is going to take default one but let's set some few more properties which is very famous like set max sorry set mean pool size minimum pool size what would be the minimum pool size i am going to specify 100 means uh, in a startup application a startup itself the pool is going to create 100 connection and that will keep into the connection pool and i am going to set set uh, max pool size right and how much would be the maximum pool size so let's say i'm going to specify 1000 and there are some more property like set acquire incremented every time this is going to increment that will start from the five if a request is coming and then every time this will increment by the five there are a lot of many more property i'm not, not going to explore all those property so you will have to uh, here my agenda is to show you how to get the connection using uh, c3p0 so how to create basically connection pool so for rest of the properties you will have to look into the documentation so as per your application requirement uh, i mean uh, uh, what the load on your application as per uh, as per as per your requirement you need to uh, set a lot of many more properties now this line of code is throwing an, an exception so let's add this as well so almost we are done right and as i am using previous project so these things just i wanted to switch database information i have kept into the uh, property file and this property file basically uh, and here uh, key key of every value right i have declared as a constant on the top of the class and i am using properties class so here i have property i mean it's like the properties class and properties class is having a load method that takes uh, input stream as an argument so i have pass file input uh, stream and here just i'm passing uh, location of my properties file and using this properties class just i'm providing the key and i'm getting the corresponding value and i'm setting everywhere setting everywhere 
right so al almost we are now good to go and uh, when client will call this get data source method then uh, before returning this data source first of all a static block will be executed right and this data source will be created right and same is going to return to the caller right and here we are making use of the uh, c3 p0 right now let's run this application if you this application runs successfully that means everything is fine now if i can show you the db script here i have a db script just jdbc pool db uh, and try to create uh, i'm trying to create the table employee and this table i'm just populating with the uh, three records right so this is already i have ran in the previous video tutorial so my database is there and table is there and there is three records right so let's run this application now and here we got the output right that means everything is uh, working perfectly fine right so i hope you understood how to set up connection pool using uh, c3 p0 and i, I hope you enjoyed learning this uh, I'm going to upload this code on the GitHub and GitHub location. Uh, I will specify in the project description so that you can download and you can import it in your Eclipse or whatever ID you are using and you can uh, run it locally. So before running this project, don't forget to first of all you will have to uh, install MySQL on your machine and first of all you need to run this DB script right. And after that, try to run this client program and you'll get this kind of output on your concept. That means you are able to set the uh, c3p0 connection pool so i hope you enjoyed learning uh, if you have any queries or questions then please do post below to the video i will try to answer those queries and thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.